Good morrow, and welcome to the show. My name's Double A. Let's play The Sims 3. Alright, last episode, we found out that my guy, um, his work outfit makes him look like a Chippendales dancer. And what's funny, those are boxers, alright? And he tucked his work shirt in them. What a noob. What a rookie mistake to make on your first day of work. Alright, now we're back. Um, yep, 50 years. I got 240 bucks for work in one day. That'll be nice. Alright, also on my very first day in the place, I got an $86 bill. It's probably someone who was living here beforehand. Probably his bill. The jerk. Alrighty, let's get this thing done. And my guy's really smelly and really strained. So we're gonna have him take us bath, cause he stinks. And I don't have anything for fun. Unless I put, I'll light the fire. Catch my house on fire. Alrighty. Yeah. That's a really, really tiny bath. Alright, everybody, look away. Look away. Don't see this. Okay, we're gonna look here. And, ooh, wow. Yeah. Wow. I got very active neighbors. They're all outside and doing stuff. I'm trying to figure out how to have fun inside. Alright, my guy's done being naked. I'm gonna see if this increases his fun status. Don't burn yourself, man. Oh yeah. Okay. We're gonna come over here. Uh, we're gonna have dinner this time. We're gonna make some mac and cheese. All right, you guys get to experience the first ever prepared macaroni and cheese. Look at that. Precision right there. What is that? That's a, a big sum of it. It's probably seasoned. It's basil. Basil, that's it. And then salt, because who doesn't like macaroni and cheese with salt? And looks like oatmeal, but if you put some milk into it, it turns it into macaroni and cheese, people. Stir up our macaroni and cheese, get the cheese evenly spread throughout the world. Okay. And then put it in a pot. Pre made, and then now we're gonna cook it. That doesn't make sense at all. Mm. But. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's. Mmm. Alright, does it taste oh. good? Mm. Yeah, it does. Check that out. Put some more salt on there, because we like sodium. Okay. Oh, it's nice and toasty brown. Put it in a bowl. Look at that. Normal quality. Steamy goodness. That is macaroni and cheese. I just realized I had a golden watch. Check oh. that out. Mmm. 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 Yeah, sure. We're not singing karaoke. And we need to buy an exercise machine. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, mmm. Mm. That's how I eat food. Just each bite. Mmm, 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 mmm. What a messy, messy person. If anyone, like in real life, came to my house, ate food, and just set the, their dirty dish on. Uh, it's not even like a kitchen table. Well, I guess in his aspect, it is like really a dining room table. Alright, we need. What? <laughs> Okay, washing dishes is funny. All right, we're gonna have them read logic. Knights versus bishops. Faster than a galloping llama! Yup. So, whoops, a daisy. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I need like music or something. How much is music? 
150 bucks, not bad. Okay. Now I can turn this on. Country music. That's what I like. I like country music. If you don't, get out of here. Dinosaur. Uh, relax, man. I know you're tired. You, you gotta pee first. We're gonna jam out, guys. With that fire. Oh, I gotta read police book. Um, there is no due date, so that's good. I'm gonna lower that volume. Ooh, that's safe. Yeah, I shouldn't have lit the fire to my fireplace and I went to bed. I'm gonna turn that off to save some money. Whoa, I just got a bunch of money. Why did I get a bunch of money? What did I do? Um, okay. That's weird. I'm not gonna complain. I'll take your twelve hundred dollars. How's my guy still hungry? Uh, you need to wake up, sir. First off, we're gonna put off that fire because we don't need our house catching on fire. Secondly, we're gonna have quick cereal. You ain't got time to make some more cereal. That is not how you put out fire. At least I don't think so. You don't just like stab it with a fire poker. So, we got cereal. Looks like cornflakes. Super, super shiny cornflakes. Yep. Dude, my guy is ripped! I tried making him look like me. Oh. Mm. I think I failed. Look at that six pack. Very well, two, four pack plus a belly button. All right, so today is Sunday. All right, where I am in my little world. All right, and then Sunday during this time of the year means football times. And, you know, surprisingly, I am a dude, alright? I don't watch football, nor do I find it amusing. And I'm probably going to get some hate mail and some stuff for that. But, there is one guy that makes me laugh all the time. I don't know his name. Um, he wears an orange shirt. Uh, and my mom said he's Peyton Manning. So, and then he always says Omaha before his plays. And now, randomly, if you hear me yell Omaha, that's why I did that. That's why I say that. So, let's go to work in my uh, Chippendales work attire. What is that lady doing? Get off your bike. Okay. Whoa! Okay. We're going to... Because my mood's really crappy, we're going to take it easy. As a police officer, taking your job easy is one of the best things you can do. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to pause it and then bring you back when I uh, get off work. Alright, I think it's unpaused. You guys got to hear this. These are my next door neighbors. They are jamming. How come I wasn't invited? I could skip work. Oh. 
It's a good thing I brought guys brought you in here at this time because apparently I'm off of work. Um, yeah, sure. I need to come over here and jam with these people. My house is boring. Okay, now that my Chippendales dancer is home, um, what do we have him to do? We're gonna have him wash his dirty self, because apparently taking it easy at work is sweaty work. Okay, now watch him jump in this tub, alright? Something you gotta do. Omaha! That's what you have to say when you jump in the tub. So everybody knows. Even that, where is it? That guy up there in that blimp. He needs to know. And those seagulls, or doves, ducks, those flying apparatus pigeons, they need to know. Does anybody hail from Omaha? If you do, it is your duty to comment in big giant letters, OMAHA! You know when asked, when he when he was asked, what the heck does Omaha mean? First off, that's kind of mean to ask someone what's their secret code mean. That's like asking a chick how heavy she is. That's just something you don't say or ask. So, alright, so he was asked what's his special secret decoder ring message mean? And then when he was when he said, "All right, it means this," he goes and says, "Well, it, it sometimes it means it could mean a plus action play, but if we're wearing orange shirts, then it means disregard what I just said. But if it's like a Wednesday, then um, don't say anything." It, it was hilarious. That's the guy who says football on your phone, football on your pants. Apparently, it's extremely dirty in my house. What's dirty about it? Oh my god! Fire! Get out of the house! Oh, my guy's gonna die! Uh, call the police! S services. Oh my god, my house caught on fire. Well, that makes for... Oh, well. I'm so happy the fire department's here. That was a close call. Get the hell out of my house. Wait, you're... You stop pushing. What? Good job at extinguishing the fire before we could arrive. Be careful to not start fires in your house. I am not sleeping with this guy in my bedroom. Go away. Do I literally have to tell you to leave? Oh my lord. So apparently, my guy needs to um beef up his cooking skill some more so that's something apparently we're on a bread and jam diet until stuff happens what a noodle what a dummy lazy dirty son of a gun all right well that'll make for an interesting uh episode. Everything was going great until we started talking about football. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's f because we were talking about football, my house caught on fire. Alright. No more football on your fans and football on your phone. Now the bright side of being like super poor is the fact that no robbers want to come into my house and steal my crap. So, I got that going for me. 
Oh, he's sleeping peacefully. I don't know if I can go back to sleep after my stove caught on fire. Yep, it is dirty. Stinky. No dreaming of cook. He's dreaming like, well, maybe one day. One day I'll be able to cook food and not set fire to my house. But that day is not today. Or tomorrow. Probably not the rest of the week. Wow, my guy is like super tired. Get up! That's it. You're up. I'm forcing, forcibly waking you up. Have cereal, because it's breakfast time. Oh my! That's our secret word for uh, the stove's on fire. So if I scream Omaha, that means I'm going to attempt cooking. So everyone get their fire extinguishers ready. Mm. Oh, maybe I'll just live off a of cereal. My guy's like, mmm, cereal. All right, mm. we got to pause this mess. So we had our first fire. All right, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Peace.